11 members of a Detroit street gang called Six Mile Cheddar Grove were indicted on racketeering and murder charges stated by the U.S. Attorney's Office. Prosecutors allege Six Mile Cheddar Grove committed homicides, assaults, robberies, and traffics in firearm and drugs on Detroit's east side. All told, 11 alleged members faced charges. Four of them were arrested within the last two days. Ten of the 11 men live locally. One lives in Tennessee. All 11 faced racketeering charges at a minimum. Two of them, Detroiters Mario Jackson, 23, and Michael Richardson, 28, appeared in federal court Tuesday. Both were returned Thursday for detention hearings. Members of the gang allegedly sell and distribute controlled substances in Michigan, Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, Alabama, and West Virginia, the U.S. Attorney's complaint said. The gang fights some rivals and collaborate with others and is accused of maintaining hit lists that are posted on social media. The gang is accused of racketeering activities and committing murder to protect the revenues of that racketeering in a conspiracy that allegedly began no later than 2008. <laughs> the indictment draws heavily on social media to make its case, citing videos that members allegedly posted on YouTube and even the captions of photos uploaded to Facebook. The alleged incidents described in the complaints span several years in several states and range from drug possession to homicides in which phrases such as premeditated and lying in wait are used. U.S. Attorney Barbara McQuad hailed the indictments as the work of Detroit One, a collaboration of federal, state, and local agencies to disrupt violent crimes by way of enforcement operations and interventions such as the ceasefire program during which people believed to be involved in crime are brought in and given options to get onto a productive path and warned about the consequences that may come if they don't change. McQuad pointed to a 35% drop in shootings in Detroit's Knife Precinct, where Six Mile Cheddar Grove operates in an area bounded by McNichols to the north, Houston Whittier to the south, Kelly to the east, and Chalmers to the west as proof of the program's viability. The Detroit One Partnership is rooted in the belief that all citizens and neighborhoods deserve to be free of crime, said Detroit Police Chief James Craig in a statement. The people of Detroit deserve a safe city in which they may thrive. The 11 men facing charges are Mario Lico Ugg Jackson, 23, of Detroit, is charged with racketeering. Philip Glenn Earl Peasy Peaks, 28, of Detroit, is charged with racketeering conspiracy. Michael Mikey Maid Richardson, 28, of Detroit, is charged with racketeering conspiracy fell in the possession of a firearm, possession with the intent to distribute a controlled substance, and possession of a firearm and furtherance of drug trafficking. Devontae Aaron Tay Russell, 23, of Knoxville, Tennessee, is charged with racketeering conspiracy. Edwin Lamont Edboy Mills, 26, of Detroit, is charged with racketeering conspiracy two counts of murder in aid of racketeering, two counts of assault with a dangerous weapon in aid of racketeering, two counts of using and carrying a firearm during a crime of violence, causing death. Carlo Dewan Los Wilson, 23 of Warren, is charged with racketeering conspiracy, two counts of murder in aid of racketeering, two counts of assault with a dangerous weapon in aid of racketeering, two counts of using and carrying a firearm during a violent crime, causing death. Donnell Christopher D. Nell Thompson, 26, of Detroit, is charged with racketeering conspiracy, murder in aid of racketeering, and using and carrying a firearm during a violent crime causing death. Lamanel Bookies Lomo Jackson, 23, of Detroit, is charged with racketeering conspiracy, murder in aid of racketeering, assault with a dangerous weapon in aid of racketeering, and using and carrying a firearm during a violent crime causing death. Patrick Jeffrey Kane Johnson, 22, of Detroit, is charged with racketeering. 
Corey Alexander Mills, 22, of Detroit, is charged with racketeering conspiracy. And Robert Wayne R.B. Baytops, 41, of Detroit, is charged with racketeering conspiracy, fell into possession of firearms. The Cheddar Grove portion of their name is a slang term for the street named Cedar Grove, located on the Detroit's east side within the gang's neighborhood. Cheddar also refers to lucrative monetary profits they generate through illegal narcotics distribution in the area, the U.S. Attorney Office says. In order to climb in status within the gangs, members were required to commit crimes and deal drugs, the federal government claims. <laughs> members, which can be male or female, often siblings, cousins, or childhood neighbors, must endure a beating or be jumped in as part of their initiation. Members advertise or rep their gang's affiliation by getting tattoos of dice and bricks, which represent large amount of drugs. The acronym BROS or BROS, meaning better respect or suffer, and street signs for the intersection of Cedar Grove and Hayes. They also use gang signs forming the number six or letter E for east side with hand signals. The gang has been endured in a gang war with its rivals, the Seven Mile Bloods, also known as SMB, since 2014, according to court filings. Six Mile members have posted his hit lists on social media, including names of enemies they intend to hit. The gang at times has formed alliances with other smaller gangs, the Hustle Boys, aka 42, Cheddar Ave, Gutter Hog, and Max Out. The federal government, in its superseding indictment, listed arrests involving firearms, drugs, and violence and online gang-related communication that they say tie the 11 defendants to the conspiracy and other crimes. Gang members Antoine and Austin Woods were caught planning the murder a rival gang member who embarrassed him on social media. Self-professed violent Detroit gang members bragged about their murderous ways online and are now sentenced to federal prison. There ought to be a charge called felony stupid because whoever does this, you're that stupid, said Steve Delant, retired assistant Detroit police chief. Operating on Detroit's west side, original members of the gang known for drug dealing, intimidation, violence, and attempted murders, HNIC, or head N-words in charge, brothers Antoine and Austin Woods were sentenced late last month. They were charged with 17 counts, including racketeering conspiracy to commit murders and obstruction of justice. The apparent leader, Antoine Woods, was sentenced to 32 years in prison. His older brother, Austin, was sentenced to 14 years. Back in October of 2015, after rival member Baby James embarrassed the Woods brothers on social media, the duo vowed to not only get rid of him, but also hurt his family. Several shootings followed soon after. In the same day as the shootings, Antoine Woods bragged on social media saying, we don't conversate, we demonstrate red rum. The brothers trying to shoot Baby James outside a Detroit exotic dancer club and instead hit an innocent bystander and shot up another woman's car. Since the plan didn't work, court documents say after posting about to hit him where it hurt now on social media, the brothers shot up his grandmother's house and his mother's hair salon. Thankfully, no one was hit. The brothers also posted their raps on YouTube Antoine bragged that he would have a fellow gang member act as an undertaker and Austin vowing his goons would take action. But now it's federal prison after another former gang member helped and testified against them. Thank you. You help us out all the time with your stupidity, DeLount says. I encourage you to use social media more and more. HNIC Pesh centered his cruise affairs around the Seven Mile and Joy Road area. 
the Woods brothers were found guilty at trial in 2019. Please hit like and subscribe to receive post notifications. Thank you. There ought to be a charge called felony stupid. Because whoever does this, you're that stupid. Self-professed violent gang members bragging about their murderous ways now sentenced to federal prison after they were caught planning to murder a rival gang member who embarrassed them on social media. Get a job, not a dope dealer, get a job and you can diss them. Operating on Detroit's west side, original members of the gang known for drug dealing, intimidation, violence, and attempted murders, HNIC, or Head Blanks, in charge. Brothers Antoine and Austin Woods sentenced late last month. The name is dumb. The name is disrespectful, number one. Charged with 17 counts, including racketeering, conspiracy to commit murder, and obstruction of justice. The apparent leader, Antoine Woods, sentenced to 32 years in prison, and his older brother, Austin, sentenced to 14 years. I know the prosecutor's office wanted more time, but I, I think the judge was fair. Back in October of 2015, after rival member Baby James embarrassed the Woods brothers on social media, the duo vowed to not only kill him, but also hurt his family. Several shootings followed, two homes shot up. And the same day, Antoine bragging, quote, we don't conversate, we demonstrate, red rum. Why are they doing this? What? I'm badder than you? No, you're not, you're in jail now, stupid. <laughs> you're an idiot. The brothers trying to shoot baby James outside a Detroit strip club, instead hitting an innocent bystander and shooting up another woman's car. And since the plan didn't work, court documents say after posting, quote, about to hit him where it hurt now, the brothers shot up his grandmother's home and his mother's hair salon. Thankfully, no one hit. Hey, God just walked up inside him. The brothers also posting their raps on YouTube, Antoine bragging that he would have a fellow gang member act as an undertaker, and Austin vowing his, quote, goons would take action. Put them bullets in this truck since he's making big. But now it's federal prison after another former gang member helped and testified against them. Thank you. You help us out all the time with your stupidity. I please encourage you to use social media more and more and more. In Detroit, Erica Erickson, Fox 2 News.